Because if you know, God knows. This is why the coffee game works. And welcome to another exciting episode of the Neville Goddard Podcast. So here's what's cool, guys. If you know, God knows. Your awareness of being is God. How you are aware of anything determines how everything shows up in your life. If you know, God knows. That is so worth repeating, that's so worth remembering. Because if you know that one sip of coffee implies your wish fulfilled, and if you experience one sip of coffee as if your wish were fulfilled, guess what? You win. So we just released the coffee game recordings. This is so much fun. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about why it works. I'm going to give you a few examples. I woke up one day and I decided I wasn't going to die without seeing my mom again. Just to be blunt, right? I'm 57. Mom's older than that. Do some math. If she was 20 when she had me, that makes her 70-something. If she was 25 when she had me, that makes her 80-something. I don't know how old my mom is. But I know she's older than me. Same with my dad. But I woke up one day because, you know, I, I there was a time where I didn't talk to my mom for about a year. I'd moved here. We did the prefunctory call every three months. It was nice to talk with her sometimes. We would argue. You know, we had a long history of arguing because my mom was what my mom was. My mom was very Roman Catholic. I was a bit different, as you can tell. My mom was a mom and I was a teenage boy. My mom was a mom, and I was in the girls, and she was afraid I was going to get a girl pregnant. You can just imagine the fun. So here we are, decades later. I am living in Australia. She's still back in the old country. And uh, at one point, we have a little throwdown on the phone, and I don't talk to her for the better part of a year. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to bother. She can call if she wants. All right, time goes on. By the way, I end up talking to her, and here's here's something cool that happens. I call her up, we're having a chat, and she goes, I'm going to buy a computer or replace the sink. And I thought, wow. Okay, this is all during the, uh, the loogie bullshit. And I get it, you know. She, she never had a computer, right? Literally, quote-unquote, she was isolated during all the lockdown bullshit. So I said, what kind of computer, Mom? And she said, a Chromebook. And I cringed. I'm like, oh. And I said, let me make you a deal. You get the sink fixed. I'll buy you an iPad. You pay for the internet. Fair enough? And so wouldn't you know, here we go. And by the way, I imagined one thing. Right? I imagined one thing that set all this positive, lovely goop in motion. And what set all this positive, lovely goop in motion was one sip of coffee. I imagined having had a great conversation with my mom by just having one sip of coffee, feeling great about the conversation that I had with my mom. I stopped imagining, like, getting off the phone going, thank Christ, it's over. Right? You've all, we've all had those conversations with friends and family. <laughs> you don't have to. You can have something far more lovely. If you know God knows, God knows because I imagined one sip of coffee feeling what I would feel, experiencing what I would experience if I just had another lovely conversation with my mom. There's a lot of subtleties here, gang. All right, Bobby Jones, that's his real name. Bobby Jones wants to manifest a car. So I tell Bobby Jones this is what to do, right? Because I've done this before. I did this back when I used to collect late 80s BMW 3 Series cars. 318s, 318Is, 325s, 325Is. I just loved them. You know, I just went nuts over the damn things. I'd buy one, drive it, sell it, buy another. I just loved them. Now, here's a cool thing. You may not know this, but late 80s BMW 3 Series doesn't have a coffee cup holder. (laughs) 
right? Who the hell didn't think of that, right? You get yourself a lovely little cart. There's no place for you to put the coffee. So I imagine one sip of coffee leaning on my car. Not the coffee leaning on the car, me leaning on the car, feeling that pride, that joy of ownership. I just love them. Can you hear it? I could talk about them all day. I don't know much about them, but boom. So, here's the cool thing, guys. Ready? If you know God knows because your awareness of being is God. And so I imagine up the feeling of ownership. What would I feel? My butt against the car? Right? Just, mm -hmm. I don't got to see the car. All I got to do is experience the coffee. By the way, what if I don't know what kind of car I want, Mr. 20? You know what it's like to feel happy and proud? You know what it's like to just know you made a good decision. You know what it feels like to be admired? Find what you what works for you here. And you know, one sip of coffee while leaning against my car. One time I did it with just leaning against my car and getting a compliment. Nice car, dude. Right? I just imagined that up. Right? One sip of coffee, hearing the words, nice car, dude. Mm-hmm. The coffee game works because if you know, God knows. Now, we've got a couple really cool ways to play with it. Remember, this is the method that moved me around the world. <laughs> See, some people say, well, the coffee game's good for little things. Well, it might be good for little wet things the way you're doing it. <laughs> but it's a game changer if you play it right. One more. Here's why I love the coffee game. I love the coffee game because I don't ever have to figure out a scene. If a scene doesn't spontaneously dial up in a second, I go right into coffee. Guess what? Ready? I imagine having head given gold and having this podcast go worldwide. And I imagine getting... Here's the thing, ready? I imagine one sip of coffee when I get your email saying, Hey, the reason I joined ManifestingMasteryCourse.com is your podcast. I notice I've got faith in me and faith in you. Not hope, not doubt. See, I can have one sip of coffee and see that email and go, yes, someone else's life changed. One sip of coffee, feeling that. If you had gold today, we just released the coffee game recordings. Right now they're 20 bucks. All right, I'm going to add to them a little bit. I'm even going to stick this recording in there because it's really important to know why the coffee game works. We've got a couple really proven cool ways, really subtle cool shit on how I use this every single day, how I used it to move around the world, how I've used it to change, to change my life. And by the way, if you don't drink coffee, it still works. We'll tell you about that too. Have a lovely day. Go to Neville Goddard store. Dot com. That's nevillegoddardstore.com. And get the coffee game recordings. Right now they're 20 bucks. That's my special. Have a lovely day. Now let us go into the silence. Simple equals speedy. Let your light shine. Remember, if you know, God knows. Have a lovely day.